Hey guys and welcome back to the Dev Channel and Sunny Design Codes and today we are going to be working with a pick of you inside Swift UI and basically it's going to be a dope tutorial. So let's just dive in, shall we? Cut the chitty chatter. Um and we're gonna start with creating our state variable, which is going to store our selection. And we are going to say nothing is currently selected. Now, we are going to create an array that will hold our picker content. And how we're going to do this is we're going to say let, and our picker is going to store social media that we use on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, so let's have a think of all the social medias that are currently in use today. So we have Instagram, which I would say is probably number one. And then I'm going to say Facebook. Um, and then I'm going to say Twitter. Um, Snapchat and LinkedIn if you use that maybe for any kind of business purposes but obviously of course we also have YouTube which is what you are all on right now which is super dope and the hottest uh, social media new in town fresh off the block I would say is good old Tiki Tok if you're on TikTok I'm on TikTok don't really post on there but I have a couple of videos but I don't know but it is um fastly growing TikTok is so if you're on TikTok go ahead and follow and I'll follow back um so anyway this is our uh, array for our picker so let's go ahead and actually create our picker on the view. So the first thing we're going to do is add a V stack. And then we are gonna say picker, which immediately just comes up right there. And we're gonna say selection, select. And then we are going to say dollar sign selection, which is awesome on there already. And our label is actually going to be text. And we are going to say my media. Cool, cool, and cool, and drop this down. So, basically, what we're going to do is now add our rows inside our picker. So we can basically go through the um, array that we've just created and basically choose our favorite basically our favorite social media that we like using so in here we are going to say for each and i'm just going to open this up and we're going to say zero two dots i'm going to give this a gold space and we're going to say greater than um social media dot count and then we're going to drop this down, but then we're going to go back up here and say index in and come back down. I'm going to say self. Uh, no, we're not. We're going to say text. Sorry, which is then going to say self dot social media index, which is basically our array that we are going to be indexing dot tag. Uh, which is going to be a hashable and it's going to be index. Okay, so let's hope that all the yep errors will go because there isn't any. And well, then what we're going to add in here is some text, and we are going to say selected social. Media, which 
is going to be this, and then we're going to say backslash open brackets. And this is going to be social media selection. Social media with oh, wrong one. Inside here, boom, and we are going to call down our selection. Indeed, and now we're going to resume this to make sure everything is fine. And here we go. Our picker is on here. We're going to run this to see if we can actually toggle between. Can we do that? Yes, we can. And we have that nice little tick, tick. And I would say my favorite social media is probably Instagram, but. I do like the rise of TikTok, so we'll have to wait and see. But yeah guys, this is it for this tutorial. I hope you have learned how to use picker views in sites with GUI. And if you're on TikTok, give me a follow. And obviously follow me on Instagram and Twitter and, and, and LinkedIn as well. And if you've enjoyed this video, Please like and subscribe and if you've got any questions hit me up in the comments below but as always guys stay creative let's crush it and i'll see you guys in the next video